Welcome back to Fun Rover TV and our Beach Rover build. In case you missed the last episode, this is where we're at. A rolling chassis with stripped bulkhead. There are a few more components that we need to remove from the bulkhead, like the pedals, steering column two, so we'll detach the steering UJs and its supporting bracketry, and also the ignition barrel and steering lock. The gearbox will be removed, so we're taking off the gear sticker knobs. Then the two main bulkhead mounting bolts are removed. The bulkhead is supported on our trusty SGS engineering crane, a great value engine hoist that has come in very useful on our builds. Using soft straps, we can lift the bulkhead with ease, not forgetting to safely put away the bulkhead spacers. This is interesting. The Defender has an acoustic under tray fitted, something I've only ever seen in parts catalogues. This needs to be removed and we'll retain it for refitting giving us access to drain the oil from the 300 TDI. Afterwards, it's a case of removing larger engine and cooling ancillary components like the radiator, oil cooler, and the intercooler, as well as its mount. We've had a parts delivery from Striker Land Rovers, an R380 Master rebuild kit from Ashcroft Transmissions to overhaul our gearbox. There's a few odd wires still attached to the gearbox and engine, so these need to be removed as one harness. We'll inspect, repair, and then recover the harness later. Another part destined for the galvanizers is the air filter support bracket. In preparation for gearbox and engine separation, the starter motor is removed before attaching the engine to the hoist. After undoing all the nuts and bolts from the bell housing, it is carefully split from the engine with some breaker bars. The goal is to get the gearbox main shaft clear of the clutch. This is to be taken away to be bolted to an engine stand for its rebuild. But first, the clutch cover and plate are removed and the flywheel is retrieved. We're looking to having this skimmed or resurfaced. The flywheel cover is also removed. Now we can lift out the gearbox and place it onto our new huge workbench that will be turned into a gearbox assembly table complete with oil drain. The old exhaust is lifted out and in preparation for bobtailing the chassis, the fuel tank is dropped. This one is only really fit for the scrap bin as it's dented and potentially cracked. The last step before cutting the chassis is to pull the wiring loom through the chassis rails. I'm now taking my time to measure the chassis to ensure it's straight, which it is, and also to determine the amount of length we can remove from the cross member. Here's our brand new cross member supplied by Striker Land Rovers with the complete chassis extensions. Now the plan is to remove the length between these two struts on the chassis, splicing the two components together and using an inner sheath as Land Rover special vehicles apparently do when they extend chassis to 146 inch for example. We'll use a combination of plug welds and butt welds to reduce the chance of corrosion forming between overlapped pieces whilst also giving us a much neater finish. I've tack welded two box sections to the rear body mounts to use as a jig for refitting. The old cross member is then cut away. Next week, we'll weld in the new piece and finish the chassis bobbing. We are now accepting select Land Rover build commissions. Each build is documented with its own build series, allowing you to watch as your vehicle is being made. When a project starts, we discuss requirements for the build with the customer before creating a number of high quality renderings and concept drawings, allowing the customer to see the finished vehicle before the donor vehicle has even been sourced. At this stage, we incorporate a number of bespoke and custom fabricated parts to further match your vehicle to your lifestyle. Our builds are exhaustive, with the goal of making each build as high a quality as factory examples, if not more. Each Land Rover is subjected to a final 172 point quality inspection checklist and a 500 mile road test before shipping. We also provide owners with a ring binder containing invoices for every part fitted to the truck. We're able to export and ship worldwide including to the US and Canada and where possible we prefer to ship by hand to mainland Europe. 
If you'd like a Land Rover building by us, you can email me hello at funrover.com or phone an Irish number, it's plus 353 089 203 6467.